Hello stampers, I'm Kelly Atchison at stampabove.com coming to you from a very hot and humid Menasha, Wisconsin. I have a beautiful new kit class that I want to tell you all about. I have two gorgeous cards to share with you using the kit. In addition to that, the kit will include four more designs. You get to make two of each in your cardstock pack for a total of eight cards. Plus you have two other ideas. So we are going to be using the Pretty Pumpkins and the Detailed Pumpkin Dies. Oh my gosh, this is so gorgeous. I am in love. Also, Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. And once we flip this camera around, I'm gonna show you all the other goodies as well as how to make two gorgeous fall pumpkin cards. Let's flip the camera and get started. So this is the Pretty Pumpkins bundle and oh my gosh, these designs are just so very elegant. This is what sold me on this kit. When I saw this die, I knew I had to have it. The other ones are really cool too, but this one grabbed me. So Pretty Pumpkins bundle included in the kit. You have, first of all, let's go back. You have the opportunity to add on the Pretty pumpkins bundle for an additional $50.50. The kit, which is going to include all the other things I'm going to show you here, is $48.25. So you're going to get a half a pack of this beautiful Harvest Meadow designer series paper. You're going to get a pack of the brushed metallic adhesive backed dots, a half a roll of this beautiful diamond weave ribbon. It's all crocheted and it's so very pretty. A roll of the linen thread. A half a pack, and I've got, I've got a whole pack here, but a half a pack of this beautiful cork specialty paper. And it is like textured and it looks just like cork. It's so pretty. Now, all of that comes in a kit with a pre-cut cardstock pack that has enough cardstock cut to make eight cards. You're gonna have four designs, you get to make two of each. So it's a fabulous deal. You get a lot of content for $48.25. And then if you choose, if you already have the Pretty Pumpkins bundle, great. But if you don't, you're going to need it. And that is an additional $55.50 to add this on. When you add the bundle on to your kit order, you're going to get an entire pack of this bedazzling six by six specialty paper. We're gonna be using this today on both the cards that I'm gonna show you, but it is spectacular. You're going to love it. This is going to be an added gift when you order the bundle through me with the kit. So let's get started. This first card that we're going to make is using a Sahara sand card base. This is five and a half by eight and a half. You can always find all the dimensions, still photos, a shopping list that tells you exactly what I've used, what colors on my blog. And my blog address is right here. So we've got that. Then we've got a layer that is four by five and a quarter. We've got a scrap of Sahara sand and also a scrap of old olive a scrap of the bedazzling designer series paper, and then also a three quarter inch by five and a quarter inch strip, or five and a half, three quarters by five and a half. So let's do some things. We are going to take this four by five and a quarter inch layer and our Sahara Sand ink pad, as well as our Memento ink pad. I'm going to stamp my sentiment first because if I mess this up and get it crooked, I can flip it over. I haven't done any other work, but if I do all the rest of the things that I wanna to do to the front, I'll be really not happy, right? Memento ink looks great. I'm gonna continue on. I always like to do that because I don't wanna do any other work if I need to flip this over and start over, right? Now we're going to bring this pretty image in. This is a pumpkin vine. You can see the bloom on the end with some really pretty um, leaves. 
And I'm going to stamp that in my Sahara sand, but I'm gonna stamp off once. I don't want this to be very prominent on my card front. It's a very, very light look. So we're just going to stamp, stamp off, and stamp this randomly on this entire layer. And this is just a great way to make a background on your layer without, you know, making it too bold. And look at how nice and subtle that is. Okay, next thing we're going to do is we're going to take the scrap of Sahara sand and we are going to stamp with memento ink and we're going to stamp those three beautiful pumpkins. So here comes our memento. And that looks fantastic. And now let me get these closed up because we have some coloring to do. I'm gonna bring in my Stampin' Blend markers. I've got Old Olive, Pumpkin Pie, and Bronze. The bronze is what I'm going to use for the stem on my pumpkins. Nothing fancy, I just colored them in. Now I'm gonna come in with the dark old olive and I'm gonna kind of follow the veins in the leaves, just like that. I'm gonna bring in the light old olive and color the rest of this in. And this is a little different coloring this on a colored cardstock versus white but your Stampin' Blend markers will give you that pretty bold color. Did I say Stampin' Right markers? I meant Stampin' Blend if I said Stampin' Right. Okay, Oops, I'm gonna color just a little bit of that. And now Pumpkin Pie. I like to follow the lines that Stampin' Up! has given us for shading, just like that. This is the dark pumpkin pie. And I'm going to go just like this. Use the artist's work here. They know what they're doing. And I promise you, if you do this, your pumpkins are going to look fantastic. I promise. As long as you stay in the lines, right? A little bit of pumpkin right in there. Now I'm gonna come in with the light pumpkin and I'm going to color this in. It does give it a different look than if you were working with basic white cardstock. But I think it's really interesting. And you just keep kind of coloring until you're, you've blended that darker color in with the lighter color and it isn't so noticeable. There we go. Now I'm going to take the die that goes with these pumpkins and I'm going to die cut them. I'm also going to bring in a fall leaf die set. This is the intricate leaves because I wanted a couple more elements on here. So that's where my old olive is going to come in. I'm going to do this leaf with the old olive and any leaves that you have will work great. This is a fantastic set of dies. If you don't have any leaves, I highly recommend them. And then we're gonna do this particular leaf on the bedazzling paper. And I'll be right back. And here we come. We've got an old olive leaf. We've got our beautiful little pumpkins there and this leaf with the bedazzling. I am going to add this layer. Whoops, let's do a little bit on the inside of our card here before we start gluing anything together because we're ready to assemble now. That was so simple, right? 
I'm going to take my Sahara Sand ink and I think I'm going to use this image right here. This is a little bit smaller pumpkin vine, not a pumpkin. I'm going to do that right there. And here's our bedazzling strip. This is three quarters of an inch long. And I'm just going to put this right inside my card. And when people open this up, it's going to be like, whoa, right? Whoa. <laughs> I love it. Okay. Put this on the front. And now we're ready to put our leaves in here. I'm going to take this leaf and I'm going to, whoops, use the right end of my glue. I'm gonna put a little dot of glue right here on my leaf and I'm gonna put this right up here. That's gonna glue in there nicely. And then we're gonna bring in our pumpkins with some dimensionals. Okay, this is gonna go right over here. This is going to go right over here. So I'm just kind of putting it down here so I can do a little fit. I think I'm gonna trim off the end of that because I don't want that sticking out from under my pumpkin. So I'm gonna, again, just put some glue right there. We're gonna bring this in. Yep, that looks really good right there. Okay, whoops. <laughs> don't let my pumpkins get stuck down here. Look at how pretty this is. <gasps> do you guys love it? And then I'm gonna bring in my little bow jig and I'm gonna tie a little bow with the linen thread. And this is included in your kit. And I'm going around three times, cross over, up and around, and tie in a single knot right here. And this is how you get your beautiful, perfect little triple bow knot, or bows, triple bows, okay? And then one other thing that I love to do, look at how cute that is. One other thing that I really love to do, where's my bone folder? Does anybody see it? Oh, here it is right here. I like to curl my linen thread just a little bit, just like you're curling ribbon. Isn't that kind of neat? It kind of makes it lay a little bit different. Okay, mini glue dot. And here we go. Oh, I think I got one. Oh, it didn't stick to my thumb, thank goodness. I'm gonna put that mini glue dot right here at the base of my stem. And I'm gonna put this kind of a little sideways. So I don't want it to cover up my leaf completely over there because it's so pretty. What do you guys think? Hmm? Right? Isn't it pretty? I know. Okay, the other thing that I wanted to do here is decorate an envelope. And I am going to clean my stamp. This is a chamois. If you don't have one of these, you definitely need one. S-H-A-M-M-Y. You can type it in the search engine in my store and find it. They are fantastic for cleaning your stamps. I, it's like the best thing ever. Okay, Sahara Sand Ink here. And I am just going to stamp my pumpkins right there. So now we have an envelope to go with our card. And isn't that just so pretty? That little bit of bedazzling paper back there just is like, whoa, very cool. Okay, let's get on, whoops, to our next card because I have another one to share with you. Okay, here are all the bits and pieces. So we have Misty Moonlight, four and a quarter by 11. I've already scored it here at five and a half. We're going to get that edge burnished good. Look, I've got things sticking all over. Then I took some of this gorgeous Harvest Meadow Designer Series paper. 
pussy willows. Aren't they pretty? This is four by five and a quarter. And we're going to add this right to the front of our card base. Okay, there we go. Now, as long as I'm right here, I'm going to take the designer series paper. I'm gonna use the blue side on my envelope flap. I love to decorate my envelopes, whether you stamp on them or use up some of that designer series paper. I don't wanna be a paper hoarder anymore. <laughs> this is part of my therapy. <laughs> Sounds good, right? I can always justify getting that newest paper because I am using up so much of this. This um, Harvest Meadows is really stunning and it's got just the richest, nicest colors. These are, colors are very trendy this fall. Well, fall is coming, it's still summer, but fall is coming. Isn't that pretty? That's just classy. I like that a lot. Two and a half by six on the designer series paper. Okay, now. We've got this little white piece, and this is one and an eighth by three. We are going to use Misty Moonlight ink. What did I do with it here? Don't worry, I just found it. It's right here. And we're gonna use that sentiment, the same one that we used on the other card. If friends were pumpkins, I'd pick you because I just think that's so sweet. Misty Moonlight ink. And I'm gonna see if I can stamp this straight. Ooh, that looks really good. Yay me. And we are going to take, this is just a little half inch strip of bedazzling. And I am going to add this to the back of this layer. And I just thought this was like a really cool way to embellish. So I'm just gonna go like this. This is longer than I need. And I see that this is not sticking very good. So, I'm going to get out my Seal Plus, and I'm just going to grab a tissue to kind of blot the glue off of here so that my seal will stick. There we go. It's going to be perfect. Okay, so you do need to have a tape runner. I love Seal Plus. It's really good stuff. Okay. We're gonna take this and put it on our card. I'm to make sure I have this right. <laughs> Is this straight? Yep, looks good. Okay, we're gonna put this right up here. So I am going to cut this and cut this, and then we're gonna flag those ends. Now this is a really neat way to add a little something to your sentiment without it doesn't really cost you money. It's just a little tiny strip. Use up all those little strips that you put back into your packets of paper and really add a spectacular sentiment on the front. Dimensionals for the back. And we're ready to put this right on our card front. Isn't that already? Oh, now I got it crooked. Hang on. Did I take the back? Yep, I took the back off of that. I want to make sure this is straight. There we go. Beautiful. Okay, now, all of these, the rest of this is scraps and die cutting. Well, oh, we do have a little bit of stamping. Hang on. I've got Calypso Coral cardstock here. And we're going to stamp this pretty pumpkin. This was another one that grabbed me with this set. We're gonna stamp this with Calypso Coral ink. And now we have a bunch of die cutting. So let me get my dies out here. We've got the pumpkin die, right? We've got this die that I'm going to use on the bedazzling scrap. We've got a scrap of crumb cake here that I'm gonna do, whoops, this little leaf on, and this pumpkin, uh, my favorite pumpkin, oops. And I'm going to die cut that on here. I'm gonna take all this over to my machine. I'll be right back. And here we go. Everything is ready to roll. 
We're gonna put some dimensionals on the back of the bedazzling pumpkin. Oops. Do you guys like my nails? I went and got them done the other day because one of them was broken. I don't know why my nails keep breaking, but it's been rather frustrating. I've never ever had that problem before. I don't know if my lady, like, I don't know, she lost her mojo. I was gone for a year, <laughs> as were most of us, right? Okay, so we've got our pumpkin. And then I'm gonna poke out these two right here. They didn't come out yet. These dies are so nice, I really love them. Okay, then we have this one. We're gonna actually grab our silicone mat. Oh, I have one over here with glue on it. Here comes my silicone mat. Now, I've used this several times today, but there's little spots of glue on here and you just rub them off. They come right off, it's so neat. And I've got a sponge dauber that I keep reusing. Now, I know people wanna know, are you washing your sponge dauber? You can, that's a good idea. I'm lazy and I don't. So, <laughs> there you have it, you have all my secrets. Okay, here comes some glue. You don't want too much glue on there, so I'm kind of tapping it off a little bit. And there we go, that's it. That's all I'm gonna put on there. We're gonna put this right on our card front, right over here. Oh my gosh, isn't that pretty, you guys? Oh look, I just stuck this to the back. <laughs> hmm. And this one. We're gonna put that right about here. I wanna spread it out good because this is gonna come in to the center. <laughs> and we're gonna put a mini dimensional on the back of this little crumb cake leaf. We're gonna put that right up here at the top of our pumpkin and some lemon thread. I'm just gonna tie a single bow with the linen thread. Here we go. Mini glue dot. I've got a fan on because it's really very warm here and it keeps blowing my hair and it's tickling my nose. <laughs> so I keep like scratching my nose because it's like tickle, tickle, tickle. I'm gonna put my mini glue dot right at the stem of my little blue pumpkin. That's a Misty Moonlight pumpkin, by the way. Oh, and I wanna curl these ends. Ah, look at how sweet that is. Oh, I want it to lay down a little bit better, hang on. There we go. And we'll do this one. Yay. And then, oh, I need a white. We need a white layer for the inside. It's four by five and a quarter. And then I am just going to grab this stamp and this stamp. And I think I need to clean both of them. So hang tight here. I have got such a mess going tonight, but I have been having so much fun creating cards. It's my favorite part. <laughs> favorite part of this wonderful job that I am so blessed to have. Here we go. Boom. Misty Moonlight. And then I'm gonna do this one. And I'm gonna put this right down here. Pumpkin vines are so pretty, aren't they? I have sweet potato vines in my planters outside this year. And oh my gosh, I just love them. They're a bright, bright, limey green color. And they're so big and luscious. Okay, here's our inside. Here's our envelope to match. Isn't that pretty? Let me clear some of the stuff out of the way here. There we go. <laughs> here's our other beautiful card. What do you guys think? Oh my gosh, which one is your favorite? Um, I know it's hard. I don't know if I can pick. I love the color burst here. I love this. But I also love this. This is very clean and simple. Pretty pumpkins, get your kit. 
let me cut the cardstock for you. It's so much fun to pull out the layers and just be able to create without figuring the dimensions and cutting all this stuff. Um, you will have to cut your own designer series paper because you're gonna get a half a pack of that. So you will cut this layer and you'll have all of the elements. You can do some envelope flaps, you can do all the things. So head right over here. If you click up here, that's gonna take you right to this blog post. You are going to find a link where you can order your kit. You definitely want to have this particular bundle. It is amazing, especially for fall. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask me. You can pop me an email at kelly at stampabove.com. And if you happen to need the new catalogs, let me know and I'll be happy to mail them to you too. So celebration is in full swing right now, you guys. There are so many fabulous benefits to go with it. One of the things is if you add the bundle to your kit order, you're going to get a full pack of the Bedazzling Designer Series paper. This is part of our celebration promotion. I will include this with your kit. And don't forget, if you're not getting a discount on your products, you should be. Join my team as a discount shopper, or you can build a business. It's completely up to you. And you will get to become a member in a very fabulous group of stampers people who love the same thing that you do. If you have any questions about that, there's some links on my blog. You're gonna look for the $99 kit in the right-hand column. Click on that, it'll tell you all the fantastic benefits when you join my team and join Stampin' Up. There is so much other stuff that goes on besides the card making that you see me do here. So it's a lot of fun. Any questions, let me know. Thank you so much for taking a little bit of time out of your day to spend with me. I always enjoy stamping with you. Have yourselves a great day. Bye-bye.